Hi, this is Ross from Visai. Uh, this video concerns uh, setting up simple um, HTTP protocol validation. And this is kind of similar to the um, to doing a, a ping test around connectivity, only it's uh, a little bit further up the protocol stack, if you like. So while ping uh, tests connectivity, uh, tests that the operating system is running, it uh, doesn't really touch the application. Uh, so what we're doing with HTTP is uh, stepping up that uh, that protocol stack a little and making sure that the application is at least running at um, HTTP. So the place to do that, so we come into uh, Service Desk, Equipment Locations, select the Appliance, Manage Services, so under Unified Comms we come into the Network Connectivity and the section here, Protocol Validation. So protocol validation can test a, you know, a number of different protocols. Uh, the one we're going to look at uh, in this video is uh, simply HTTP. So there's a number of tests, uh, a number of uh, protocol validation tests set up there already. If we come in here and add new target, uh, add a friendly name. So let's um, Agile, uh, Agile ACM release six. Uh, they have two in this environment, so choose a name that identifies it correctly. So HTTP on 172.17.225.3. And of course the default port for HTTP is 80. Uh, in fact, that's all we need to do for, for um, HTTP protocol validation. Down the bottom here we can hit test now. And what this is going to do is give us some assurance uh, that HTTP is working. Uh, not all applications, of course, have a, a browser-based administration or a browser-based reporting. So it's returned. Validation has uh, been successfully completed. So that means the appliance can connect to 172.17.225.3 at HTTP uh, successfully. So we'll leave the rest of the um, settings here as default. They're going to work fine for us. You notice the send alarm on failure is already ticked. So we'll submit that. And very similar to, to a ping test, what that's going to do is it's going to, um, uh, every minute, the on-site appliance is going to attempt to log into that, or attempt to um, connect to that IP address using HTTP and ensure that it gets a successful response to that. So we're recommending, again, that... Um, all servers that you're supporting, all applications uh, that support a web-based administration or uh, web-based reporting. Uh, so it has that ability to respond uh, to an HTTP session on port 80. Uh, that you do that, you set it up for all servers under support. And that's going to give you yet another layer of security that not only is the application uh, reach reachable, the connectivity is there, uh, that in fact it is, res it is responsive and it is running. Hope you found this video useful. Cheers.